I had been working in Afghanistan and Iraq since about 2006 as a photojournalist. Uh, I was freelance, but working mostly for the New for Newsweek and New York Times. And and so this operation I knew was an extremely significant operation. And there is a very uh, formal process to become embedded with a military unit. But because I've been doing it for a number of years, I knew how that process worked. Um, and once once you get approved, you have unrestricted access to almost any unit in any location. And so I requested to go with Echo Company um, that was going into this particular region. Um, and and so once you're out there, you're, you're going through the same things that the Marines are going through. And, and so at first, there's some hesitation. There are these tightly knit units that train together, fight together. And I'm an outsider as a journalist. But once you go through some difficult situations, they, they trust you and, and I trust them. And you get that level of, uh, there's this bond that I think was one of the reasons coming home that um, I was able to see another aspect of war that we don't usually see uh, because we had that level of trust. Yeah, and uh, one thing I like to mention when I get the chance, and I, I actually haven't very many times, maybe one other time, but, uh, uh, you know, right along with that question goes into the fact that, you know, I'm a Marine, you know, I'm, I'm a Marine, and I'm obviously very proud of that. And, uh, but uh, our, the, the story needed to be told and continues to need to be told. And, uh, and we need the support of, of our country and, and a million, million things. But uh, what I like to bring up is the fact that Mr. Dennis did this and was willing to do it, and he went out there with us um, every day that he was there to the most hostile place in the entire world and the most hostile place and dangerous place in Afghanistan at the same time. And he did it with um, a camera as uh, his equipment. I mean, he, he had a basic protection rig that wasn't any, it wasn't the same as mine. Um, uh, you know, more simplified where he can move and get shots. But, you know, when, when uh, rounds are flying down range and you hear them snapping in the background and you hear the ricochet sounds, that means those rounds are impacting really close. They're either going right by you or in the air and you're hearing the sonic noise from that round. And uh, so during all these type things and explosions and all, all these chaotic, almost unbelievable things, uh, Dan is there. And half the time, I turn back to look and see where my men are and what we need to do next. And I've got a photojournalist running by me. <laughs> And, and then, yeah, uh, uh, with, without any kind of machine gun or assault rifle, and he does a, a video game hop down and onto the ground with the camera. And so, yeah, I, that's amazing.